Landsman began work on Shoah in 1974, traveling to modern-day Poland and attempting to unearth the past. For instance, this scene with uh, the locomotive uh, driver of Treblinka, uh, when he's the first one in the film to make uh, this gesture across uh, the throat. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's a man uh, I like him. He's, uh, he's very human. And uh, among all the Poles uh, I have met in these uh, villages, uh, he's the one uh, I like the most. Yes, he because, comes across that way. Yes, and I, I, I hope one can uh, feel this uh, in the field. Because he doesn't stop uh, 40 years after to carry, uh, to carry uh, on his uh, shoulders uh, this terrible burden of what he has done. He has uh, open wounds. And uh, I was very brotherly with him. And I think this uh, was important too. And I told this man, because the trains were extremely important for me, we will uh, shoot, uh, we will film uh, an arrival at the Treblinka station. And we drove back with the locomotive uh, 10 kilometers from Treblinka. Uh, he was not anymore uh, a locomotive driver. He was retired. But the locomotive did not change. They are the same. He knew his job perfectly well to handle the things and to, to drive the locomotive. He was drunk. He drank. And to my astonishment, he suddenly starts to look behind the locomotive at this uh, imaginary wagons, you know, as he did for uh, 13 months, uh, several times a week, as if uh, behind the locomotive there were uh, 40 or 50 or 60 freight cars loaded with uh, doomed Jews. He has the most uh, strange face, a very strange face. He looked behind him in, uh, with an absolute desperate face, in complete despair, and he started to uh, knock with his fist uh, at, the, at, the, at the road locomotive, and suddenly he made this fantastic uh, gesture across the throat. And uh, I knew immediately that this would be a very important scene uh, in the film. If you are on the steps of the gas chamber, it is already too late. It is, it is absolutely too late. But if you are at the crossroads, uh, one kilometer and a half before the gas chamber, it is too late too. And it was too late when the Jews were rounded up in their city. It was already too late. When was it not too late? This is a question. Wir kennen nur das Wort der Kommandanten ohne Gehorsamkeit und Pflicht. He doesn't know that he's being photographed. We see the screens in the van and we see him in black and white. What went through your mind when you knew you would do this? You knew perfectly well what normal ethics would have applied. How did you think this through? Or did you think it through? Did you just say? Yes, I did, of course. Listen, first of all, uh, I show publicly in the film with uh, arrogance and with pride even that I lie to them. Mm. I show it. I don't try to hide my own lies to these people. And uh, I don't see uh, why I, I should have kept my word. Did they keep their word? They never stop to, to deceive, to, to lie. And they didn't respect the first order, the first uh, moral order, which is the order of lie. Mm. They didn't respect this first and the fundamental priority. Why shouldn't I lie to these people? After 11 years of work, after nine and a half hours, how do you feel? 
satisfied, relieved? To make this film was a, a total war against everything and against everybody. And the deeper I, I was uh, inside this uh, extraordinary adventure, the deeper I went uh, alone. I don't feel in, uh, myself in a particularly good shape, to tell you the truth. Ah. What hurts? What? What is the pain? I don't know, but I am not... Uh, I am proud of what I have achieved, definitely, yes. But uh, it didn't uh, relieve me from, uh, from anguish. I think it is the other way around. I have made the film, but the film made me. You have seen uh, these past 11 years. You have revived that world for yourself as well. Sohamel asks you from time to time as he tells his story of what he did as a Nazi deputy commandant. He says, Verstehen you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What do you understand after all this? What did this teach you? You, you mean, uh, would I understand? Uh, well, he was, he was proud to... Uh... No, 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 not, a, not about Sohamel, about the whole experience. You, stay, you kept a, a very careful distance, only letting yourself in from time to time. But the whole film is you. Yes. What did I understand? Yes. The patience. The patience, to be patient. With life? No, with time. With time. I am I'm not a particularly patient man. And... Uh, I think I have lived for uh, 11 years in the, uh, with care for the truth and with an extraordinary feeling of uh, emergency together. Um, what else I have learned? Uh, it's, I cannot answer to you like this. Well, you did. But when you were patient with time, is that the same as God's silence? Is God's silence something other than neutral? Is God patient? I really cannot tell you. 